ओके जस्ट वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग द सर्विस नाउ आई टी ओ एम सो इन दैट सर्विस नाउ आई टी ओ एम वी आर जस्ट डिस्कस इन द डिपेंडेंसी व्यूज सो एस्टेड वी डिस्कस अबाउट दैट मीन्स प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस अबाउट दी सो वॉट इज द प्री रिक्विसाइड टू क्रिएट द डिपेंडेंसी व्यूज सो हाउ टू एंटर इन द डिपेंडेंसी व्यूज एंड वेर इट विल बी अवेलेबल सो एवरीथिंग जस्ट लाइक प्री रिक्विसाइड वी डिस्कस इन अवर डिपेंडेंसी व्यूज so today i'm ready to discuss about that in an continuation of the dependency views right okay so before that i am ready to just uh, explain in detail of our dependency views so in our each day to day life so if you go any practical life example if a employee is there for example so if any particular uh, like a remote area persons are there so in organizations a different different type of employees are there and different different type of org But that means the designations will also present. All our employees, for example, one is a supervisor, one is a manager, one is a okay, so clerk, so different different type of uh, salesperson. Everyone will be there. So in that area, once you see that organization chart, so each and every one, for example, a reporty, reporty is nothing but so if any, for example, any ground uh, people like a like a salesperson are reaching to the customers, uh, they are right to just. Uh, finding the different 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 type of reports and everything so that people can write to uh, give information to their particular employee and uh, see that that employee is right to just give information to the particular supervisor or manager or anything so this kind of the flow is right to just execute in our general organizational chart so generally uh, this kind of the flow has to execute because for example if any third party person like a uh in a sales person directly cannot uh, meet the manager because so their supervisors are there they are right to just give a report to the supervisor the consolidation of your, all the reports only it will transfer to that particular supervisor like a manager so anything so these are the flow we can follow in our generalized format but same as if you just consider that is a dependency map in our service now side we can consider then what kind of the things we need to just consider see in our uh, like a uh, data collection areas means you just consider like a servers the servers are right to just communicate the data so the servers are giving the information from the uh, servers and like a routers or whatever it may be so these are the third party applications we can feel that there is a third party applications the third party applications are right to transfer the data and it will right to store where it will right to store in our area so there is a ci okay so configuration items the configuration items are right to store that uh, receive that information of on the servers routers whatever it may be third party applications so then after getting the data then only it will related to the our business servers so if any business servers are there so then it can right to relate and it can transfer this kind of the cis to the particular business server only otherwise directly the servers is not to send the data to our business servers so through the ci only cmdp table cis are right to show that kind of related information as per our business requirements so these are the uh, things we uh, consider in our dependency map okay so that's why the dependency maps and dependency views are right to just related and uh, created by these kind of the issues only we can graphically we can easy to identify so where is the dependency one item one ci is i item is depending on how many uh, so servers related to the servers or routers whatever maybe everything will be checking with this kind of mapping area so now we'll go with a okay actually we discussed previously about that how to uh, what is the roles we require to uh, create a dependency views or viewing of a dependency views everything but now our main concept is that where is the dependency views then how we can create or how it will try to generate the dependency views so is it possible to modify is it modify is it possible to save or delete or anything so today's topic i am ready to discuss about that okay so first thing is dependency views can be viewed from the cmdb table so where it will be present simple in a general scenario we just now discuss what does it means the cis are containing this kind of the data from the third party applications where the third party applications are right to receive that information like a server information like a router information everything so it will be stored in a cis right so configuration items 
that configuration of items will be ready to present in a CMDB table. That's why the CMDB, the dependency views can be viewed from the CMDB table only. Right? So now, the search for any configuration item, for example, I need to um, search for any particular configuration item. So that application navigator, for example, the search for Windows Server CI. So I, I'll show the practical scenario where it will be showing the dependency views. For example, if I go to that service now developer, our personal developer instance PDI, so then CMDB table is there. So CMDB, so in that CMDB table, so I need to just uh, CMDB dot list, I'm going to search. Maybe all the CIs it will write to present. All the CIs will write to just showing in this area. You can see that base configuration items, that is a so system configuration items it is right to show. So for example, I need to set these are all our CIs. So each and every record is a CI configuration item, right? So I just need to check with a SAP. So one SAP, uh, so CI I need to find out. I need to see that these are all the SAP related CIs. So if I just click on any CI, so you just click on any CI, you can see the all the related information, the form has to open with all the related information about the CI. So already just we gathered information from our uh, discovery or mid server, whatever it may be. So all the informations will be ready to just captured and it will be stored in this area. You can see that. So these are AIX server information like a SAP app SRV01. So that is the CI name. Once you see here, when, when we just open this CI, so all information will be present in a form and same as is this come down and you can see that any related items are there. So related items means yesterday we discussed that map indicators also we discussed, right? So map indicators means like this, you can see that symbols. So what kind of the databases are just uh, involving in that? If any kind of the incidents are raised in a particular uh, CI, in this CI, if any incidents are raised or changes are raised, so if any kind of uh, dependency things are there, each and everything it will write to just show in a uh, like a uh, list view. Okay, I don't want to see that list view. I don't, I want to see in a mapping view, like a dependency views we can easy to identify in a graphical manner I need to see. Then how it is possible to click means simple. You can see that if I need to add any add CI relationship means you can click on plus icon. So if not, I don't want to just add any CI relationship. I don't want to, uh, sorry. I want to see that dependency views in a map, right? So simply I'll just click on this button. So when I ready to click on this button, you can see the loading dependency map will be ready to present in a next tab. See that? So these are all are the different, different type of related to our, so other CIs. For example, see that? So when we just, uh, just scroll it, it will make them bigger. So SAP controlling, you can see that these are the different different type of like a, so counting of a CI and as well as the, any instance are just there. So each and everything in a graphical manner, it will write to present. So right, so these are the map view, we can see that what are the dependencies on a particular server and uh, what is the CI is just related. See that it's the updating, every time it is a updating, means it is an active position. Right. So these are the things are just easy to identify. For example, I need to check any Windows server. We can check it. These are the CMDB CIs I given. You can see that. So if you want to go with a directly CMDB table, okay, directly fine. So otherwise, you can just go with a, um, you just click on dependency views and view the map. So that area also, we can just be able to see that dependency views. See, I'll go with that. See dependency views. Simply you can type dependency. So views. So in the dependency views, we can see that if you just click on view map in a new next tab, means is a new tab, it will write to just open. Otherwise, the view map is nothing but if you just click on a view map, then it will open the map. So we have that map indicators are there, map related items are there. Yesterday we discussed that is the map indicators. Indicators is nothing but like a symbols. Then how we can make a symbol. And if you want to just relate it to the particular CI is there. For example, incident is just raising. So how that uh, indicator will show that, that is whether it is a color is a, so map color is a, uh, like a 
uh, red color, blue color, whatever be, which color it is right to present. Each and everything we define in a particular dependency views. Okay. So the mapping properties also there, we can make it as a mapping properties also. But now, so I, I need to show that view mapping. Simply you can click on view mapping. So this area is also, it will show that dependency views. So if I'm ready to just, uh, for example, in the previous area, I just came from the uh, CMDB table, right? Now directly I'm checking that is a view map. But for example, I want to just, uh, so select a particular, um, so CI. So I don't want to see this uh, CI SAP app SRV01. So I want to see another CI. Then how it is possible, you just go and click here. So in that area, you can just type what you want for example sap related so if any sap related servers are there sorry that is the ci's are there you can see that for example i need to just go with a so sap lb1 so simply i'll click on that then it will open that related ci so that related uh, dependency views only it will try to open so if i just go with a sap uh, controlling so the dependency views will be appear easily right so that's the reason and we can see uh, in continuation of that you can see so click on any windows server and this we given a one example also so to open up the ci record and scroll down to the related item sections so just now what i shown in that particular area so same as is i given in a screenshot so these are the related items are present in a below of that ci so if any dependencies are there everything we can easy to identify in that area and you can just click on that uh, dependency view icon. So these are the, so this is the dependency view icon. When I'm right to just click on that, then only it will open our dependency view. Just now what I shown the dependency view, it will open, right? So just an example, practical example also I given in that particular area, you can see that. So SAP Enterprises Services, I given that is a CI. So the CI is containing the down, the below of that CI, the related items are there. And we can see that dependency view map is also there here. Here we can just click on this one so that it will open the SAPS Enterprises Services map. Okay, so you can see that a dependency map will open up for the related configuration items like a CI. Just now what I said that if I just open if any um, map, for example, in this area, if I'm right to just open, these are all the related information only because so SAP Enterprise Services only just I'm opening. See that, so I'm just opening the SAP controlling and see that what are the dependencies. So SAP Enterprise Services is the base head of the CI and you can see, so these are the SAP controlling will be ready to interlink with a Windows Server of this uh, 01 and 02, okay. So these are the dependency views can showing in a graphical way. So graphical way. So we can uh, able to see that uh, now, we can able to just see that these are the menu items are the, if you just click on this menu item, you can able to see that like a save a view, load a view, last view, export image. So these are kind of options will be ready to present. For example, I need to save this view. So this view same as is I need to save. So you just click on that save a view. So directly it will give a uh, information to save that particular view. So see that you have saved the current view of SAP controlling. So this view all already saved. So if for example, I need to just load a existing saved one. So just now I saved that view. Okay, I need to uh, just uh, find out where, where the previous view already saved that information, the saved map is there. So that dependency view I need to load. Again, you can load view means it will give a chance to search. You can see that. So SAP controlling. So you can see. So SAM controlling that is a views are there. This only one view it will be present. You can just click on that. Again, it will open that saved view. So how many views are saved each and everything it will be showing in a list. So that the area you can see that uh, you can, you know that last view means the previously what we seen. So that image will be that dependency view only it will be ready to present. And if you want to just make it, for example, I'll make it this one. So one image. So just click on this one and you can see that. So export image. So I it will take an as a one screenshot. And if you want to, so press enter the downloading of this image also. So these area, we can try to view that image. Sorry, we can uh, view the um, 
dependency views and we can save that image uh, as the image or otherwise that mapping also we can save and we can export if you need okay so these are the different different type of dependency views are present okay so now in continuation of that we can see i will show in a uh, screenshot also where it will be see that so in the menu items what i said that like a saving loading and export the views and as per what we discussed just now just i given a screenshot also you can see here so that below of this one once you see that the below, uh, beside of this menu item is nothing but so that is a ci name so what what is the ci it will root like a sap enterprise services is there so the sap enterprise services is a one of the ci can we write to root this so ci okay and you can see that if you want to search any other um, items like a ci is i need to search for another ci is just now i shown in a um, pdi just now i shown once again i will see that for example i want to search one more uh, like a ci so you can just see sap human resources simply you can just click on that so you will get that sap human resources ci information you can scroll it and you can make it bigger one and you can easy to identify what kind of the dependencies are there on this particular ci and now so we can go with that it is a searching option to find out the ci and as well as the view of the particular dependency also different like so now we are just uh, viewing that in a vertical order so in a vertical view just we are viewing that particular ci but not for that i need to just go with a checking of a horizontal manner right horizontal manner i need to just uh, see so simply i'll click on that horizontal you can see see that in a sap enterprises in a horizontal manner sap human resources will write to just present like this and you can see i need to just move here and there you can see here so these are the horizontal manner it will write to looks so as per our convenient as per our uh, so requirement whether we need to just check the uh, vertical view or otherwise horizontal view each and everything we can just make it right and then if you just go with a radial view also that is also one of the view will be there you can just click on that radial view means this kind of the so things will be right to present you can see so these are the radial views will be there okay so if you just go with a radial view again i'll click you see see that this is a radial view it, it will give a clear picture so as per our requirement only we can easy to uh, navigate whether we need to get the radial view or horizontal view or vertical view we can define it that is our uh, so requirement so that uh, service now is giving the different different type of uh, so views it can provide in a graphically how it will be present like an next day the next one is a post view is also there you can just click on the post view so this is also one of the option to get the post view to see that all the how many uh, servers are how many cis are depending on this particular area and uh, so one more view is also there that view is a grouping view so you can just click on group view you can see that so it is a grouping like you can see so sap enterprises sap enterprise services will be there in that sap enterprise services will be related to that sap human resources so these will be depending this this uh, ci will be depending on this two cis one is a windows server and another one is also windows server but is a one and two okay sap load bay and balance is a one and two so th these are the uh, views different different type of views are there like a vertical view will be there horizontal view is there radial view is there force view is there and group view is there so these are all the different different type of views we can easy to uh, view the uh, dependency right and next one is for example okay i don't want to see that i want to go with a vertical only fine everything will be fine so looks fine so what what i'm going to say that i want to just uh, click with a details details is nothing but for example see here if i'm i will go here so it will show that one is a one ci like a um so one incident is raised see that so incident 53 number the sap hr application is not acceptable so one um, incident has raised and if we can see we can go with another area so maybe that area is also some of the incidents or changes or anything will be raised already so we can able to see i don't want to with a graphical manner i want to see in a list view for example you can see that how many tasks are related to this particular ci 
each and everything i need i need to go with a detailed manner so then how it is possible means you can simply you can click on details you can see so if i just go with that area so created information you can see that how many are uh, there already this i created a demo uh, incident yesterday i think uh, the day before yesterday we created one incident as per our sap so information sap um, okay ci see that for example this incident was just uh, see here the sap hr application is not acceptable so this related to in a progress so each and everything in details it will write to show if i just click on this area so then it will show in a um, that form that incident form has to show and uh, whether it is a um, resolved or not if it is not resolved then what happening everything it will write to just coming under to the ci dependency views so the dependency views you can easy to identify okay so that's the reason and you can see that is a specifically if you want to identify the created information is all so whether it is a change or problem or so any uh, information will be there everything will be showing in this area so particularly i need to check only that incident you can you can click on incident only the incident information only it will write to present if any problems are created again stop this dependency views simple if you click on problems then it will show that whether the problem is related to this one that information only it will write to present you can see that already one problem is described okay so the problem is resolving so the problem resolving loop is right to just working on a particular area so this and each and every information will try to show in a details manner okay so in the details only it will try to show this all information like a so vertical horizontal radial and force group and details